Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Hi, Grace. Welcome Hi. to the Light Center in Black Mountain, North Carolina. It's Asheville area, right? That's yes, the Asheville in the area, Asheville right? area. We're out in the mountains. Um, this is the light chamber, and uh, it's one of the reasons people come out here is to go through the lights and meditate and relax. That's right. The, the light's actually changing, correct? Yes, it How changes. How long is the session? Each cycle, each color is four minutes. The I whole see. cycle takes about 35 minutes. And so. what does really do to you? Um, is that works on your uh, chakras? Yes, the point of it is to clear and balance the chakras. And the reason we have that is that the founder found that to be very helpful for people who are trying to get in touch with their own inner light and their own spiritual essence yeah. and the lights really help in clearing balancing relaxing people so they can feel that essence within themselves and, so, and absolutely i tell you i'm in such a right place because i do angel card readings i'm oh. all about angels and i see angels here everywhere yes yes and there's a big painting done by arthur duet for oh. the light center he presented it at Gorgeous. the dedication yeah you see boy so the, right, right. Let me show you the picture okay. of the founder and tell you about how we came to be here. Wonderful. So this is a picture of our founder, Jim Gore, and um, there's the photo with his wife. And he, they're the whole reason that the Light Center is here. Uh, he was a retired naval commander who was working in the Pentagon in the Cold War era and was very concerned about the state of the planet concerned there might be a third world war and um, so he was also someone who was very spiritually oriented he spent many hours a day in prayer and meditation he had been drawn to prayer and meditation when his father died when he was 12 years old and he started to study different world religions and found that he could get guidance through communing with spirit so um, at this point when he was at the Pentagon he asked uh, his prayer group that he was in praying for world peace to help him and they asked for guidance whether his family should um, if, if there was some action that his family could take to help change the direction mm -hmm. that the planet was headed in and he was told yes yes the family would be guided to an area and um, they would he was to go there and build a prayer center that would be dedicated to holding the energy of light and love and peace for the planet Earth. And so they were guided to this area. They found a big stone house that's now our retreat lodge. It sits up above the light center on the hill up there. And they moved the family here in 1970. And he attracted a group of folks that came to help him, volunteers. And by 1979, they had opened the light center. And he only lived till until 1986, but he had started the nonprofit, and so the nonprofit now operates the light center, the dome, and the retreat center. So that's how he got here. And the reason for the light room is that he, even though he was a very powerful teacher and very charismatic, and people came to him and wanted guidance about how they should live their lives, how they where to go on their spiritual path, and so on. He was not in favor of that. He felt that everybody is the light and that we all have our own process for understanding what that means to us. And so what he wanted to do was <laughs> yes, to offer some techniques that yeah. he had found helpful. So the light room was actually one of the techniques that he offered uh, because he could tell energetically that that helped open people up to their own spiritual essence. And then he devised this prayer, the effective prayer, uh, through his work with people, he saw that there were certain blocks and certain concepts that held people back from being able to embrace their own spirituality. And so he devised this prayer, and they would hand it to people when they came and say, try this out, see if it works for you, and it did Was he religious by any chance? No, no, actually the Light Center was designed to be outside of religion. He felt like prayer and communication with spirit was something that was between you and spirit and that it could be part of religion but it didn't have to be so you he was spiritual right you didn't have to have somebody else that was telling you the anti-guru concept so anyway. wonderful yeah that's so that's basically wonderful. it um we're open seven days a week 
The, the offices and the light chamber are open from 10 to 5. The upstairs is open, and the upstairs is our domed prayer room. It's also where we have events and concerts and sound healing events. So, so. you're busy. Yes, yeah, so you want to stop it now? Actually, I would uh, love you to read this for us, if you oh. can. No, <laughs> but we have a CD of it. No, I release all of my past negatives, fears, human relationships, and inner self to the light. Be still and know that I am God. I radi radiate the light from my light center throughout my being. I radiate the light from my light center to everyone. I radiate the light from my light center to everything. I am in a bubble of light and only light can come to me and only light can be here. Thank you God for everything. By James Gore. Gore. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Gore and anti-guru. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm so glad that I actually got here. And the drive here is absolutely wonderful. Wow. Because the, I don't know if you've ever been to Maui. You're kind of Maui person. No. Uh, and it's road to uh, Hana. All those serpentines, you're going left and right and up and down. And that's what is here. It's like 15 miles of this ride. Yeah, well, eight and a half from Black Mountain. Would you like to see the upstairs? Oh, absolutely. Yes, Dome. yes. Dome prayer room. You are the light of the world. If we choose to be. Yes. Okay, now we're going up and up and up and up. Oh, because is this a lighthouse or? Light center. Light center. Because you are the light of the world. Because we are the light workers. Oh, nice. And if you can explain, um, okay, so people sit here in the step, right? And what's about this? The globe, that is to remind us that that's our mission, to pray to the earth. That was the reason the Light Center was started, was to hold the energy of light and love and peace in prayer for the planet Earth. For the planet Earth. And that's still our mission and purpose. Okay, so I have only one last question for you, my dear. Doing a great job here. How many politicians and... Uh, army navy and just name it come here to actually pray for the peace because that's what the guy was right he was what did you say navy yes retired naval commander that's right and he understood how important it sure. is do you think he would vote for the war no that was the reason that he asked that question and that the light center was built is he had had enough of war so. Wonderful. And on this peaceful note, we, I'm going to say thank you very much. God thank bless you. you.